off the detour and back on track with the Lithgo LA-101 and the CZ-455, what everybody has wanted to see with Lapua Exact. Coming up next. Hard hitter. Welcome range fans. Mr. Revolver Guy here with dayatherange.com. All right, folks, while I get these magazines loaded up, uh, you saw me go off on my little detour where uh, I had the CZ showdown between the 455 and the 452. Uh, both shot pretty consistent and pretty well, considering me. Uh, I still think I can do a little bit better, but... <clears throat> I will tell you, I'm back out here with Lapua Exact this time, and we're getting back on track. We're getting back on track with the LA-101 and also the CZ-455 with the Lapua Exact. Now, some of you have commented throughout the videos that, hey man, box to box, they're gonna be from different lots. So if you shoot a different box and a different rifle, that could add some variation. Again, I'm just trying to figure out what these rifles like and also focused on bringing all of us some entertainment and some smiles during this time for those of us that enjoy 22 rifle shooting. Uh, but I do try to buy the same lot where I can. I can tell you that's uh, pretty easy to do with the high-end ammunition. So these boxes of Lapua Exact that you'll see over the next upcoming videos are all from the exact same lot you know that I have changed the test down range a little bit where I'm running out of dots and I have some more of those on order. So you won't see the suppressor out today, but you will see the Lithgo and the uh, CZ-455 go head to head. Now I've shot, might be cheating a little bit for the 455. I did tune, uh, you saw the Harrell tuner on there in the last video, and I did tune the CZ-455 too the Lapua Exact, at least to take out uh, some of the vertical stringing. Uh, probably can get it a little bit tighter with the Harrell, with spending more time with it, but again, it's only the second outing. Anyways, enough of that. Let's see what this Lapua Exact look like downrange. By the way, both barrels have been cleaned. So with the Otis pull-through system, I have pulled through uh, a wet patch, let it sit for five minutes, then I pull through a 22 nylon bore brush through each barrel, let that sit for about five minutes. Then I pulled another wet patch, let it sit for five minutes, and then I pulled a couple of dry patches. And here's what we have. That's where we are with these two rifles. We're gonna see what it looks like on target downrange. Whoo -hoo. Excited, excited, excited. Excited to be off of, by the way, 91 degrees out here today but excited to be off that detour and back on main highway or back in the rabbit hole. Let's see where these things are going to shoot. All right. I'm gonna use the last one inch dot Going to use the last one inch dot for the official score, if you will. And uh, if it shoots well enough, maybe I'll take Lapua Exact and enter it in the Day at the Range 22 Challenge SAS call out. And by the way, for those of you that might be a little afraid that your name is going to be on the next call out, you better start getting ready because there are some folks out there. We've got competitors from all across the U.S. and also competitors from Australia now at this point. I've actually had a competitor uh, approach me from Germany about how to download the target. Folks, go over to dayattherange.com. How to download the target, how to submit the targets are all out there on the leader scoreboard. This thing shot showing low and left. <clears throat> This little pool of ammo 
It is greasy. All right, this is the fish shot. Last shot on this target. All right, definitely shoot low. That's from a clean barrel. Next target, let's line it up. Seems like the group is trying to tighten up a little bit. Yeah, I think it is trying to tighten up a little bit. We're gonna move to the next five rounds and the next target. Notice, you know, I got my new bag protector, Bumblebee. Last one on the third target. Yeah, she's starting to tighten up a little bit. Little pull exact. You guys said you wanted to see some of the more expensive brands. This is what I'm trying to bring to you today. And man, is this stuff expensive. That last group right there. That's why this stuff is a little on the expensive side. That group right there, folks. Uh, probably not the best group I've shot with the Lithgo, but it's pretty darn tight. We're gonna see what we can do on the one inch target. You see those green targets down there. They're two inches in circumference. And uh, we got the one inch for the official score. Man, let's not screw this up. All right, I hate all that grease.
Here we go. All right. That right there, people, <laughs> is why this LaPool Exact is so expensive. I got to tell you, I hope I can find some cheap stuff to feed this old Lithgow LA-101. That's a pretty nice, scorable group. So let's uh, change out the rifle, change out the target, or redirect the camera down range to look at the second target, and... Um, We'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back at it. You've seen this one before, the CZ-455. Some of you have asked what all have I done to this rifle. Yes, it has been pillar bedded and action bedded. Uh, pretty much it with the Lothar Walther barrel and also now the Harrell tuner on there. But if you go back and look, oh yeah, I forgot. The Anarchy Outdoors thick bottom metal as well. If you go back some videos and take a look at those videos, you'll understand how this project came to be for me and that uh, I want to see if just I could build something that is as accurate as a Voodoo 22, but maybe not with the same price tag or cost. And I mentioned a couple of videos back that this rifle is well under 50% of the cost at this point with everything that's been done to it. 50% uh, of the cost of the Voodoo, not even 50%, it's way less. Uh, but that's what started all this to give everybody a little bit of background. So let's get started. Yeah, I didn't ever claim to be a singer other than maybe some cadence. All right, let's see here. I got a good idea of where it's going to shoot because I did spot this one in because of the Harrell tuner. So should be close to crosshairs. Oh, that greasy stuff on my hand is killing me. Good gracious alive. Obviously, I haven't spent enough time with the tuner. Again, I ask, please don't pass judgment on the tuner just yet because uh, I've seen these things. I know that they work. It's my first time trying it. Make sure I got it locked down here. Yep, it's tight. <clears throat> my first time trying it. Um... Let's see. We're going to put these rounds down range. We're going to get this one over pretty quick and let you guys be the judge on how Lapua Exact perform in the uh, Lothar heavily modified 455 battle.
Not bad, but I know this thing can shoot better. I probably have too many gadgets on this thing. And not spending enough time to learn each one. That's my fault. Not the, not the setup's fault. By the way, the other reason for this setup and gadget, I absolutely love CZ and the CZ platform, if you will. But uh, go back and take a look at my uh, family 22 challenge or call out. My son happened to be out here with us and he called out his sister. And then I, in a subsequent video, called out my daughter and, and she decided she was going to show up with her 1022 kid barrel. And um, I knew I had to do something. So it's kind of led to this uh, experiment as well, not just the voodoo, but man, we are a competitive family. They all know I hate losing, even to my own, but go back and take a look at that video. It'll kind of tell you why I'm here. I think I pulled that one myself. Not bad, not bad. It's starting to tighten up. Starting to tighten up. Got five rounds in here. And then we're going to shoot five rounds in a, um, for the official target. Oh, don't drop them. Hope you guys are enjoying the video, enjoying the content. I'm way down this rabbit hole with 22 long rifle. I will get back to some big bore revolvers. Got a few videos planned out for that. Stay tuned, Smith & Wesson 500. Oh, that was me, I think. Yeah. Um, you know, I know this rifle and also this barrel will shoot much better because I have shot much better with it. Um, with the RWS target ammunition. But as you can see here, I do have the original CZ rings, kind of wanted to keep it all CZ. I have the original CZ rings on here with this particular Bushnell scope. It does sit a little high, so you guys know I'm struggling with the cheek, cheek weld, but I did find something that I think will, that's removable, that can go from rifle to rifle, that I can use that can help with a more of a consistent cheek weld. Let's get to, here we go. Man, like getting in the ring with Mike Tyson. Um, this, yeah, this is the last scoring target at 50 yards. Let's see what we can do. Let's buckle down here. And the wind wants to pick up. Feels good. I can't complain about it.
Oh yeah, oh yeah. That one inch target, I tell you what, I gotta get more of those in. That one inch target will absolutely bring out the best in you. So there you have it. The rabbit hole Lapua Exact uh, from the same lot number from the Lithgow LA-101 and also the CZ heavily modified, all gussied up, 455. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna roll in the video showing you the sizes of the groups. Enjoy, Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out. The Lithgow LA-101 with Lapua Exact from a squeaky clean barrel. First group, 0 0.595 inches. Then moving on to the second group, 0 0.438 inches. Third group, 0 0.484 inches. And then Lapua really started to show out with the fourth group turning in a 0 0.314 inch group of the day. Then on official score on the one inch dot, the Lithgow LA-101 with Lapua Exact turned in a 0 0.177 inch group for a 0.338 MOA. Rockin'. Talk about pressure building after that last group. I put on the table the Franken rifle, old gussied up CZ 455 with Lothar Walther barrel and Lapua Exact. First group turned in a 0 0.641 inch group from a totally clean barrel, by the way. Then we move on to the second group at 0 0.491. Moving on to the third group, it continues to get better and turns in a 0 0.441 inch group. For some reason on that fourth group, it got away from me and turned in a 0 0.620 inch group. And the last official score of the CZ455 with Lapua Exact turned in a 0 0.214 inch group. You get it here, just like I see it. Out on the range, Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.